The message of gun control continued right here in Hampton Roads today. Mm -hmm. A group called Organization for Action held a rally today to thank local Senator Tim Kaine. And 10 on your side's Rob Rizzo explains. If we could take one moment of silence. A moment of silence to remember those killed by gun violence kicked off a rally today in front of Senator Tim Kaine's Virginia Beach office. Your voices are the reason we've gotten this far and we need them once more. Voices asking simple questions when it comes to gun control. We want some logical, common sense legislation that keeps or avoids more mass killings. From folks like Andrew Jackson, who lost his then 23 year old son Carlton five afraid, years ago. He was killed by a person with a gun and remembers the police knocking on his door. I understand that knock. Andrew Jackson and his family were victims of gun violence and want to see the legislators take what they consider a common sense approach to gun control. If someone had your children and your child was number 11, would you want that magazine to be larger than 10? Their approach makes it harder for dangerous people to buy guns as well as to make it easier for police and prosecutors to stop them but they also understand the need to keep a gun. If somebody wants to protect themselves, you know, we're not taking away their guns. We're not going to even take away those guns from people that have them. But we do want them registered. My name is Andrew Jackson, and I know something about where you come from. They just want the violence to stop so that no other family gets that knock on the door. In Virginia Beach, Robert Rizzo, 10 on your side. Well, the Senator Tim Kaine uh, was not at today's protest, but his office did offer this response. We want to show it to you right here. It says, since his time as the mayor of Richmond, Senator Kaine has advocated a comprehensive approach to curbing gun violence, which includes universal background checks that eliminate the gun show loophole, expanding mental health services, and responsible limits on combat-style weapons and supersized magazines. The Senate is expected to vote on legislation concerning gun violence when they're back in session in April.